University of Toronto psychology professor Jordan Peterson refuses to use gender non-binary students' pronouns of choice, them, z, or zer, for example. He sees them as a symptom of political correctness run amok and compares them to something that you would see in a totalitarian and authoritarian state. Way back in the fall of 2016, Peterson posted a series of videos on YouTube saying he saw no evidence that non-binary genders even existed. He complained about anti-bias training U of T was considering, saying it amounted to an admission of guilt. And he complained about Bill C-16, which was federal legislation adding gender expression and gender identity to the Human Rights Code. He said that this could end up criminalizing even discussing the issue. And while many legal experts disagreed with him, he stuck to his guns. For a while, it looked like Peterson might be in real trouble. There were protests on campus demanding he be fired or otherwise censored. Trans rights activists insisted that his views were simply not up for debate. And the university administration sent him a letter urging him to stop repeating these statements, implying that he might unwittingly be responsible for threats being issued against trans students on campus. Peterson won, basically. He kept his job, the university reaffirmed its commitment to free speech, and he became something of a celebrity in the process. He's a hero to the anti-political correctness crowd, and it's making him far more money than the university pays him. He's making nearly $40,000 a month from his Patreon account, and a separate campaign set up by Rebel Media raised almost $200,000. He's using the money to put philosophy lectures online, to fund his research, and to pursue some other projects, and he has plenty of money left over.